feels amazing. I feel amazingly blessed to, um, you know, usually um, I'm part of a sector that works really hard. And if everything goes according to plan, you don't really know our names because we're the, the guys behind the stars making it happen. So I feel really honored to uh, celebrate, uh, celebrate my career of over 30 years of, of doing records and doing sessions and doing tours with everybody from Michael Jackson to Paul Simon to Stevie Wonder. It was the best. And every time I work with him, my relationship with him uh, live and both in the studio, it seemed like every time I worked with him, he was more talented, more prepared, and more humble. So I think he really taught us a lot of lessons uh, in terms of what humanity can be. Like, it doesn't matter how much money you have. It doesn't matter what great success you attain in itself. It's how you treat, it, treat other people. Then he inspired me while I was blessed to work with him. And now that he's up in heaven, he's still inspiring me. So I feel goosebumps when anybody says Michael Jackson. It's like you have no idea. Before I, yeah, before I met him, I was like, oh man, the, the music, the, the the videos. I mean, he's yeah, he's he's an institution. Um, the family is the first family of music, in in my humble opinion. That's that's our Beatles. That's uh, our Paul, Paul. Our generation, yeah. Working with Michael really really taught me that hey. It's just about push that love out and give everybody the respect, no matter what they believe in, no matter what they do. And I think that's something I'm called to do, is to bring ministry and music together without shoving it down somebody's throat. It's more like an example, like, like, like my mentor, Michael. That's, that's Live it, don't preach it type thing.